Lord Premanande. Nama Om Vishnu Padaya Krishna Pastaya Bhutale Shamati Bhakti Vedanta Swami Dinamne Namaste Sarasati Devi Gauravani Prichadine Nirvishe Shashanyavani Paschadu Tapta Kanchana Gorange Radhe Vrindavanishwari Vrishabhanu Sate Devi Pranamani Hari Priye So on this most auspicious day of the appearance day of Srimati Radharani. On this most auspicious day, we are praying that we can also become a servant of Srimati Radharani. Just as we cannot become Lord Krishna, similarly we cannot also become Srimati Radharani. But we can become a maidservant of Srimati Radharani. Even to become a servant, a maidservant of Srimati Radharani is not a very easy thing. But we can become the servant of the servant of the servant, many times the servant of Srimati Radharani. We have to understand Srimati Radharani is the most elevated. Uh, divine personality, she represents the personification of the pleasure energy of the Supreme Lord Krishna. Lord Krishna is the supreme enjoyer, the reservoir of all pleasure. And for his enjoyment, he manifests the form of Srimati Radharani. Radha and Krishna are originally one, but they separated themselves eternally for the pleasure of Lord Krishna. So Srimati Radharani shows us how to serve Krishna, how to give pleasure to Krishna. It is said when Srimati Radharani was first when she first appeared in this world, that as a young baby, her eyes were closed and the, her mother and father could not open the eyes of the child. Mother was the chaste Kirtida. And her father was Maharaj Vrishabhanu, and they lived in Varsana. So Maharaj Vrishabhanu was a very wealthy person, he had a wonderful kingdom. If you go there to Varsana, you can see it's a very beautiful place, Varsana Temple. Is on a on a hill overlooking the the area of Varsana. So when the child was born to when the child appeared to Kirti Dan Maharaj Vrishabhanu at that time, they were concerned that 
unusual where a child doesn't open its eyes. Anyway, they were patient, and after some time, Nanda Maharaj and Mother Yashoda came and they brought their child, Lord Krishna. So it was just two weeks back we celebrated Krishna Janma Astami. So today we are celebrating Rad Astami. So Nanda Maharaj and Mother Yashoda bought, brought their little baby Krishna to see the child of Maharaj Vrishabhanu and Kirtida. And Lord Krishna was crawling around and he crawled in front of the cot where Srimati Radharani was lying. So when Lord Krishna appeared in front of the child, then immediately Srimati Radharani opened her eyes and beheld the form of Lord Krishna. So this illustrates one of the characteristics of Srimati Radharani, that she only has eyes for one person. She only sees she does not see any other person. Her eyes are only meant for beholding the form of Krishna. One of the services which Srimati Radharani performed for Lord Krishna during his manifest pastimes was cooking food for Lord Krishna. Srimati Radharani had received a blessing from Durvasa Muni that whatever she cooked would be like nectar. The Rasamuni was a powerful sage. He could curse and he could also bless. So when Durvasa had come to Varsana, Srimati Radharani had taken great pleasure in preparing food and cooking for him, and she had fully satisfied Durvasa. So Durvasa blessed her, that whatever you cook will be just like nectar. Very important, women should be able to cook. Nowadays, of course, people don't even have the culture to cook. They just go out to eat, they think they go out every night to eat. What's the need to cook? They don't even have a kitchen in their home. There used to be a saying that, you know, a woman should be able to cook and be able to sew. To sew. But, but today, these things are forgotten. So Srimati Radharani, she was very 
expert cooking. And Mother Yashoda heard about how she'd been blessed in this way by Durvasa. So she requested Srimati Radharani that when my son, Lord Krishna, goes out to the forest of Vrindavan every day, would you like to cook for him when he comes home at night? So of course this was the greatest pleasure for Srimati Radharani and every day she would cook over very hot coal fires preparing different preparations. 咁呢,咁當然呢個係最,什麼地方都可以講係一個非常之喜樂嘅一個嘅服務啦,於是每晚就會去到,每一日呢就會去到,呃,Yashoda媽媽屋企呢就為住Krishna呢係煮飯。But this was the greatest pleasure for Srimati Radharani. What we would think to be an austerity, she thought it's this is my pleasure, this is my greatest joy in life. 咁呢對什麼地方呢,講呢個呢個最大嘅喜樂,咁我我哋會覺得哇煮飯係一個苦行嚟嘅,但對佢嚟講呢,呢個呢個呢其實一個最大最大嘅誒嘅喜樂
and Radharani standing over in the corner, hiding, watching to see Krishna's expression. She knows she wants to see how much he's enjoying. She knows she worked very hard making this sweet. And Krishna just took a tiny piece, put it on his tongue and went. <laughs> Radharani, she'd been standing watching anxiously, and when Krishna screwed up his face, Radharani, <laughs> she wondered what's going on, what I've done wrong, maybe I put the wrong, maybe I put salt instead of sugar, I don't know. So then Krishna takes that sweet, puts it on Madhu Mango's plate. This is useless, you take it, Madhu Mango. And Madhu Mango takes it and goes, oh. <laughs> Just, this is so incredible, you know. So this is the dealings, the loving exchange between Srimati Radharani and Lord Krishna. Srimati Radharani is the personification of pure loving service to Krishna. We learn something about the mood of Srimati Radharani from the prayers of Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu has given us his Shikshastikam prayers. And it is said that the final verse of the Shikshastikam is the mood or the, the words of Srimati Radharani. Um tells us Srimati Radharani addresses Krishna in this way that I know no one but Krishna as the Supreme Lord. That he is my worshipful Lord even though he may handle me roughly by his embrace. Or make me broken hearted by not being present before me. He is free to do anything and everything with me, but he is always my worshipful Lord unconditionally. This is Srimati Radharani is teaching all of us the highest level of loving service to Lord Krishna. Now sometimes in dealing between a man and a woman, 
sometimes there may be some roughness, the man may sometimes be rough and uh, make, make the woman broken hearted, just as Lord Krishna would sometimes apparently be breaking the heart of Srimati Radharani. But Lord Krishna's behavior in this way is just simply to increase the love of Srimati Radharani. That he is, by his, Lord Krishna's dealings, he is bringing out the highest, most exalted, pure level of the loving devotion of Srimati Radharani. She is saying to Krishna that if my being unhappy makes you happy, then that is my happiness. Right? Do we have any ladies here who would ever say like that to their husband? If, if, you're happy, if you're happy by making me unhappy, then I'm happy. Then generally in material life a woman will say, Your job is to make me happy. <laughs> but Srimati Radharani only thinks about Krishna's happiness. She just wants to feel to see Krishna please. That if Krishna is pleased, then she thinks then my life is successful. Now the word the name of Srimati Radharani actually does not appear in the pages of Srimad Bhagavatam Srila Vyasadev. Sukadeva Goswami, they never mentioned in the Bhagavad Purana, although there are 18,000 verses there, they never mentioned the name of Srimati Radharani. Why they don't mention, why is it not mentioned? Well, one reason is because if they would even mention her name, it would fill them with so much ecstasy, so much bhava of love for Krishna, that they wouldn't be able to continue speaking Srimad Bhagavatam. <laughs> Rather than mentioning directly the name of Srimati Radharani, she is indicated through the name, through the word Aradhanam, Arad Aradhanam, meaning one who is expert in the worship of Lord Krishna. So this is the position of Srimati Radharani, that she is worshipped by even great saintly persons like the sons of Lord Brahma, the four Kumaras, even they hear about her glory. The goddess of fortune Lakshmi, she aspires to become a gopi herself. 
咁而呢個幸運女神啦 ，Lakshmi 咧，亦都係咧係希望咧能夠成為咧一個咧木牛姑娘。Now that we will think the goddess of fortune was very powerful, very supreme, but even she wants to come to the position of a gopi. 咁我哋可能會諗啦，啊，其實呢個幸運女神 Lakshmi 咧都係有個好崇高嘅地位，一個身份，但係連佢咧都想咧成為咧，係希望咧成為一個木牛姑娘。To try to achieve the position of a gopi, for that purpose, Lakshmi, the goddess of fortune, went to Braja and did austerities and did tapasya for a long time. 咁而幸運女神 Lakshmi 咧，為咗咧係希望咧能夠成為呢個誒木牛姑娘咧，佢甚至咧係去到咧呢個面打盤嗰度咧，係誒做咗誒好耐、好多好多好好長好長時間嘅苦行。Generally, when we see Lakshmi, the, hand, the mother Lakshmi's hands are open. She's giving blessing. 咁咧，當我哋見到 Lakshmi 阿母女神嘅時候咧，佢手係打開嘅，或者將呢個祝福咧係送俾人。But when she's in Braja, she's asking for blessing. 咁但係當佢去到 Vindavan 嘅時候咧，佢手係合埋嘅，佢係希望咧能得到祝福。She wants to be blessed, that she can also become a gopi. 佢希望咧得到一個祝福咧，令到佢咧能夠成為咧係其中一個嘅木牛姑娘。Why does she want to be a gopi? She also wants to jump to take part in Rasalila with Krishna. 點解佢要想成為一個木牛姑娘？因為咧佢都想咧係咧係參與咧係木牛姑娘咧同埋 Krishna 之間呢個逍遙時光。And who is the best of all the gopis of all the thousands, many many lakhs of gopis? There is one supreme, and that is. 咁喺成千上萬嘅木牛姑娘當中咧，邊個先係呢個最傑出、最至尊嘅咧？咁當然咧就係 Shrimati Radharani。So Shrimati Radharani, she is much on a much higher level than the goddess. The goddess of fortune is one of her expansions. 咁咧，其實 Shrimati Radharani 咧係比起相對幸運女神 Lakshmi 咧，其實佢身即係地位咧係身份咧係非崇高好多嘅。而誒 ，Lakshmi 咧只係佢其中一個嘅誒擴展。Shrimati Radharani is empowered. She she has all the divine qualities meant simply for giving pleasure to Krishna. We spoke about her cooking, which gives pleasure to Krishna. Another of her qualities is her dancing. We know Krishna also likes to dance. He performs Rasa Lila. 咁我哋頭先都講過啦 ，Shrimati Radharani 有好多好多嘅呢個崇高嘅品質啦，其中一個頭先講嘅就係佢嘅誒煮飯非常之傑出啦。咁而另外一個咧就係 Radharani 咧係跳舞咧係非常之叻嘅，而我都知道咧 Krishna 咧係非常之中意跳舞。You're going to dance with Krishna, you have to be able to dance a long time. Krishna likes to dance. Sometimes he will dance the whole night of Brahma. 咁咧 ，Krishna 咧，如果你要同 Krishna 跳舞咧，你一定要咧可以跳舞跳好耐先得嘅。因為有時我哋知道咧 ，Krishna 咧會跳舞咧，係成個 Brahma 嘅夜晚佢都會喺度跳舞。And sometimes Krishna also enjoys dancing as a peacock. In that time, Shrimati Radharani will also perform the dance, just like peacocks. And Radha and Krishna will perform their dance. 咁我都知道 ，Krishna 亦都好中意咧，見到呢個誒孔雀跳舞嘅。咁所以 Ronnie 咧亦都會咧，係好似同 Krishna 一齊咧，好似孔雀咁樣跳舞。So it happened that Lord Krishna was taken away from Vrindavan, and when, of course, Akrura had come there to Vrindavan, and he had brought Lord Krishna to Mathura. 咁我知道咧 ，Krishna 誒其實有一日咧就係離開 Vrindavan 啦，咁就 Guru 嚟到咧就要帶走 Krishna。And this was very heartbreaking for the gopis, and it was especially heartbreaking for Shrimati Radharani。咁對所有蘑菇人嚟講咧，都會令到佢哋咧係完全心碎啦，尤其是咧就係對誒 Shrimati Radharani。So it happened after some time, Lord Krishna requested Uddhava. To come to Vrindavan and deliver a message on his behalf to the people of Vrindavan. 咁當 Krishna 離開咗一段時間嘅時候咧 ，Krishna 咧就係誒派呢個 Uddhava 啦，就去到呢個 Vrindavan 咧，就係咧將佢一個信息咧係帶俾啲蘑菇啦。Now Uddhava is the son of one of the brothers of Vasudev. 咁而 Uddhava 咧就係 Vasudev 嘅一個兄弟嘅兒子。Means Vasudev and Uddhava's father were brothers, 
and so Krishna and Uddhava, they were cousin brothers and they looked like each other. Uddhava was a very great devotee of Lord Krishna and he had all the, he, by his appearance, he just immediately on seeing him, everyone was reminded of Lord Krishna. He would wear Krishna's old flower garland and he would also dress in some of Krishna's old clothes. We often also give devotees some prasadam in the form of the the, the, the garland from the deities and sometimes the old clothing outfits of the deities or the jewelry from the deities. So Uddhava was wearing all these clothing just like Krishna. He had long hair like Krishna, lotus eyes like Krishna, so many ways he resembled So when the gopis saw this person in Vrindavan, they immediately knew he's come from Krishna. He must be some associate, some friend of Krishna. <laughs> And they heard that he had brought a message from Lord Krishna. So Uddhava was a the disciple of Brihaspati. He was a very learned, educated person. But Lord Krishna had sent him to Vrindavan to learn from the gopis. It wasn't that Uddhava had come to teach the gopis, he had come to learn from them how to how to express their love for Krishna. And when Uddhava met with the gopis, he could immediately understand how they were all absorbed in thoughts of Krishna. And while he was addressing them, then he noticed how one of the gopis, who is described to be Srimati Radharani, she began to talk to a bumblebee. Bumblebees, you know, they have the nature to fly here and there. And generally, they like to go to a flower and take the pollen. And they'll take some pollen from one flower, then they'll leave it and go to another flower. So this bumblebee was going around, it was buzzing around the form of Srimati Radharani and she began to address it and she talked to the bumblebee in a somewhat sarcastic way. She said to the bee, don't you come near me. I know your nature. You're just like your master, Krishna. Krishna. 
You go from one flower, take what you want, then you go leave it and go to another flower. Just as your master would embrace sometimes the gopi and then he would go to some other woman and leave that gopi. 走起你的主人, Krishna, Just like some the students, they come to the teacher, they take knowledge, they get the education, then they leave the teacher, they go. 走起啦,啲學生咁啊,就揾一個老師啦,跟住啦,當我哋學得到呢個學問之後呢,佢就會掉低個老師就會走. They don't care for what they have been given, they simply take and go. 他們就不會理他,誰給他給了這些東西,他就得到他想要的東西,跟著就會離開。So in this way, Srimati Radharani was addressing the bumblebee. She said to the bumblebee, You are the unreliable servant of an unreliable master. Don't come near me. Srimati but then suddenly the bumblebee disappeared. And when the bumblebee disappeared, then Srimati Radharani became frantic. That, oh, where have you gone? Oh, don't, don't go and tell Krishna what I've said. Oh, please don't go and tell him. If you tell him what I've said, he'll be heartbroken. He, you ruin. Oh, please come back. I, I, I didn't mean it what I was saying. Please come back. And then suddenly the bumble would, be appear, would appear again. And then she'd, oh, again you'll come back. Oh. 然後突然之間,這隻蜜蜂就再次出現了,跟著我的媽媽就嘆嘆,哦,你終於回來了。So Uddhava was observing and hearing this address, these words of Srimati Radharani, and he could understand her exalted love for Krishna, how much she was intensely absorbed in love for Krishna. But what we need to understand is that she loves Krishna in the mood of separation, vipralamba seva. And she is always thinking, when will Krishna come? When will he come back? So Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and the followers of Lord Chaitanya, they follow this mood of Srimati Radharani, that she has the greatest love for Krishna because she's feeling the separation from Krishna. If we if we are saying, Oh Krishna comes to me, Krishna comes to me and talks to me and I talk to Krishna, then that is not as good as the person who is anxious, who is feeling the separation from Krishna, that when will Krishna come? Come uh, 有些人就說,Krishna你來了,你來找我,我就要跟你說話,但其實是比不上我的,就是在分離之中,在某時某一種,Krishna你幾時會再回來呢?And this is what we want to learn from Srimati Radharani, that we should also cultivate this mood of being anxious for Krishna, that when will he come, when will I have the opportunity? to serve him and to be with him. So Uddhava praised the gopis along with Srimati Radharani that they were the most fortunate because they had achieved that feeling of 
love in separation from Krishna。咁所以咧，好似话咧，系赞赏咧，忘乎人咧，就系呢个最崇高嘅奉献者啦。因为咧，佢哋咧系拥有呢个咧，系主于呢个分离嘅情绪诶嘅心水，而诶对
मूर्तिमान मधुरी गता
please everybody get up now. We'll offer the flowers, flower petals to Shihada mother. So after Ashman, please come forward to take the flowers. We will do one time together. Just wait. 我們會一起回家的,大家都可以一起回家一起回家。Some of you may know this prayer, the mantra, there is special name for Srimati Radharani in this prayer. 大家可能認識這個萬頭的人,我們是特別的名字。Rishabhanu Sute Devi Pramani Hari Priye Isha Pushpanjali Please offer the flowers Isha Pushpanjali Isha Pushpanjali Srimati Radharani Ki